there, YouTube family. I hope that you're all doing well. And um, I'm just popping on because I need to give you an update already. I took down yesterday's video that I put on last night. It was all screwed up and it wasn't even anything at this point that's relevant as of today. So no loss with that. Um, I did want to let you know that I did not go ahead and order the three month subscription to Nutrisystem for 20 meals a month, including snacks, breakfast, dinner, and lunch. I opted not to um, after a lot of thinking because it is a three month subscription, even though I have to order only every two months, which has changed. That's another issue. It used to be you could postpone it out to three months and I don't want to be eating that kind of food as a regular menu. I did say I would like to calorie count through the holidays. I've rethought that one too, because you know what? Yesterday I did eat the Nutrisystem food and I had the breakfast, the lunch. I didn't have the snack because I don't have any of those snacks. And I went to work last night and guess what? There was every kind of pie under the sun there for us in the cafe room. And I shouldn't have gone in there. I went in there and I saw that and I sampled three different pies and then I felt sick because, you know, I'm not even used to eating like that. I was like on a sugar, a sugar overdose. And I said, okay, so what good will it do if I count calories all day? It's no different. No matter what plan you're on, if you don't, if you go off and eat these things as I did, I mean, I had Ritz crackers with Philadelphia cream cheese. If I'm going to do this wherever I am through the holidays, it doesn't really matter much what I do during the day, does it? So that brings me to my beloved Slimming World. I still think it's healthier for me to try to do my Slimming World meals during the day as I do every day. And you see them. I show them to you. Daytime is not an issue for me. Um, and just as several of my fellow Slim winners have suggested... First and foremost was Nikki in a vlog. She talked about it in her video um, two days ago, I think. And if, in fact, you don't watch her, by the way, please go over there and subscribe. Show her some love because she has a lot. She is a real person, okay? Somebody had the audacity to accuse her of not being a real person who's doing Slimming World. Give me a break. Some people, you know, I call them keyboard warriors. They have such audacity to go on someone's channel and leave these kinds of comments go get a life that's what I say how dare they I only wish I was around Nikki to see that comment because I would have not been able to resist I don't often go on people's channels and comment on their comments when people are rude but I'm very close to Nikki and I would have had a problem reading a comment like that from what I understood of what this comment was so ridiculousness, you know, I mean, we are all in this together. This struggle is real. I am not doing well. I'm going to be, I always tell you how it is. I told you in the first video a couple days ago when I said I was going to try to calorie count that I make you no promises. So I tell you no lies. Absolutely not ever not coming out of me. I I'm already back here switching up again and I wouldn't have even called it switching plans. I think I'm just trying to think it's a process to try to think through what is best for you to do when you're struggling and having a difficult time. And that's what I was doing. I was doing it on a video that you saw and it, it's a process sometimes of trying to figure these things out. And I'm fortunate that I have the help of others to um, look to for advice and suggestions. And if you don't have that kind of help, come over to Slim Win, Slim Win on Facebook and join us because we have a lot of supportive people in that group. And when people are having issues, they comment, you know, they might put a comment and they get cheered on, you know, they get virtual hugs kind of thing and support. So that all being said, so sorry about that. I got a phone call anyway. Um, so, Slimming World it is for me. And 
I'm really happy about that. I have no idea what's going to happen in the next few weeks, what my scale is going to say or not say, how many sins I'm going to eat a day. But I am going to tell you that in place of not ordering three months supply of Nutrisystem, um, I did order a small order through Walmart because you can't order this through Walmart or Amazon. It'll be more money. But in this case, what I got is um, the lowest price that you're going to get this for. I know this from when I first started Nutrisystem and amazingly enough, the price hasn't changed. So what did I get? I got shelf stable food, five, what they call breakfast, five, what they call lunches and five snacks. And I'm going to show them to you now and let you know, I'm going to translate them into Slimming World language because that's how I'll be eating them. So this is very delicious. It is granola cereal. I like this on yogurt. This is going to be a B for the day, my healthy extra B, plus two and a half cents. I have to figure these things all out. Some of them I already figured out a while ago because um, keep in mind, I didn't just start Slimming World in August. I've been on Slimming World. That was my fourth run, my fourth time this is. Um, so some things already are in my app. Okay, so now this is maple brown sugar oatmeal. And this is a B plus two cents. This I'm not thrilled with. I may just give it to Jim. That's what I usually do with that one. But I wanted to tell you about it anyway. Okay, um, this is considered a breakfast bar. It's a cinnamon bun bar. This is a straight up healthy extra B. These things all have a lot of fiber. And... Um, so, and the, with the caloric content on this, this makes a B, a full B. I wouldn't, I could have it for breakfast, a snack, whatever. It's going to be a B. Peanut butter oat bar. This is also a straight up B. And then I have harvest nut oat bar, another straight up B. So that does it. There's five breakfast I may have said this. I, I don't want to repeat myself. There's five breakfast, lunches, snacks. Okay, so this is something I enjoy. Um, this is going to be a healthy extra A plus one cent. Mac and cheese, white cheddar. And this is just basically kind of like a craft um, mac and cheese. But tastes much better to me. And it's again, it's got added protein. It's got fiber. Um... And it doesn't have as much salt, obviously. This is something I really like. Uh, loaded mashed potatoes. These you can make into little croquettes if you want. I just eat it straight up, usually. Um, and I like to mix cauliflower rice into it because that's a good way to get more veg in. And it's not noticeable to me. Again, though, you have to like cauliflower rice or you won't like it at all. So this would be an A, a full A, and a one cent. Then I have, um, this is considered a lunch bar, chocolate peanut butter bar. This could be a B plus three cents. That's exactly how I would track that for myself if I'm going to eat it. And this is a lunch bar. It's chocolatey fudge graham bar. Really like these. This is also a B plus three. Healthy extra B plus three cents. On to the snacks. So if I want a snack at night, this is uh, butter popcorn and it's six cents. These are so good. Lemon cooler cookie, um, seven cents. Now that's nice to have on a lemon yogurt. You just break it up and have it on there. Or even if I wanted to have half on a yogurt, I don't have to eat the entire thing of these. But um, I'm just giving it to you if, if I was going to eat the whole thing at once. This is considered a snack bar. This would It's chewy peanut bar, and it is B plus four cents. You know, keep in mind, guys, I'm not in the UK. I don't get to eat those um, nice bars that you guys all get over there. So these are my little ways of treating myself to get through the holiday season. Okay, chocolate flavored pretzels. These are really scrum delicious, and they're seven cents. I mean, these would be good to have any time, really, not just in the holidays. Because again, if I'm not having the opportunity to have some World Bars, this would be, but there are also plenty of other options that we have. 501 Bars are really good. 
You buy them in the supermarket. They're relatively inexpensive and they make a great big. This is chocolate caramel bar. This is a big healthy extra beef for the day, straight up. And this is last but not least. And again, I didn't get to choose what comes in the box. Nutrisystem chose that and they could be different every time or the same every time. It depends on when you order. This is um, tuna salad and it's going to have one cent for the mayo. And that does it for what's in this box. So um, I just want to thank you all very much for understanding. I am having a very hard time. It's not just the holidays. Callie's birthday is coming. She would have been 18. My aunt passing is just on my mind because I'm thinking of her family and her grandchildren who are going to be missing her tomorrow for Thanksgiving and on the coming holidays that we have um, just ahead. And it's really hitting home for me, you know. I mean, I don't need to make excuses for grieving, you know. This is legit. Some people don't understand the loss of a four-legged fur creature. Callie was like my child. I am missing her like I missed the child that I lost many, many years ago. The sense of emptiness that I feel, how I just drive around in my car. I cannot listen to the Beatles song. Um, the one that John Lennon wrote and that the Beatles took after his... The, remaining Beatles took and I guess revamped into an actual song that could be published um, then and now now and then I'm sorry that song just got me I was driving to work yesterday it was the entire song I cried I'm not here asking you to have sympathy for me by any means I just would like to make sure that you understand exactly how I'm feeling because I come on here and I try to be as upbeat as possible I'm not gonna come on here to make anybody else depressed because some people out there may not be feeling that great themselves and listening to me might make it even worse for them um, but then there are the people out there who have no one who knows what's going on with them and doesn't have anyone to say you're gonna be okay I care about you um, I am fortunate and blessed that I go to work and I'm surrounded by people who love their four-legged fur babies and they all understand they've had losses of their own and they are just so they have so much empathy and just so they give me so much support i can talk about cali anytime i want and then i'm having a hard day when i go there i don't want to bombard people but at the same time i really am very comfortable talking with certain people about this it doesn't make it it makes it easier it makes it, it makes it uh less hard to have people understand what you're going through uh, but I don't want my channel to be about, you know, doom and gloom. I want to come on here and be upbeat for you. Genuinely upbeat. But at the same time, I feel like I really need to let you know that um, things are not great. You know, the holidays is not going to make it easier. I don't even want to put my tree up. And I may not. Because it's just that hard right now. And if I don't, Jim will be okay with it. He understands how I feel. My husband lost a twin brother at the age of 42 suddenly so he has a very great understanding of grief and loss and um he also misses Callie you know we both miss her very much she was with us for 17 over 17 years I mean that counts for something I think you know and she was just she slept in the bed with us in the middle of us I mean she was a part of everything everything in my life and um I'll never stop missing her. I just hope that I could find some peace with each day that goes. I pray for peace for all of us, that whatever struggles we're going through, um, please think of Stephanie, of Stephanie1975 underscore SW and her husband. Ian is in the hospital awaiting the day to come for surgery. It's a long wait. It's been a long wait, and it's still going to be a long wait. Um, and my friend Deborah Louise is going through struggles with her mom. And there are other people that are not even saying they're going through struggles, but I know that they probably are, you know, and I wish for them. I pray for them and their families. Alan, um, Geeky Al Slimmer, he's going through struggles. He's in a lot of pain and um, contemplating what the treatment may be or not be for, for his leg and his foot. People have stuff going on. So just know that I'm here for you regardless of how I'm feeling. I want to make sure you get that message from me today for really most of all of everything I'm saying. You always have a friend in me. 
you always have a friend in me. And if there's anything I can do to help you, I mean, I can't fly in a plane to where you are, but I certainly can listen. And if you need to, you can always email me, Mrs. Rodee at gmail.com, M-R-S-R-O-E-D-E-E -E -E at gmail.com. I'm always um, there, you know, um, and you can put also in the comments. But if you're not comfortable there, you can also send me an email and join our Slimming Group. That really is the best advice I could give you. If you're feeling badly and down and out, come on in there and we'll, we'll do our best to be there for you and cheer you up, I promise. So on that note, um, I will put up a video tomorrow. It will be today's day of eating. And I hope that you will um, stick around with me in my insanity. Hopefully it's going to get better and I'm going to find my way. I'm always trying to find my way. And I wish the same for you, that you find your way if you're feeling a little lost. You know, just stick to it. Keep on going. Don't give up. So let me send you these big hugs. Let me ask you once again to please do the best you can to take care of yourself. I ask that you and your family have many blessings. That's my prayer for you. And I thank you most of all for putting up with me. I'll say it again for the millionth time and for watching my videos. And I'm going to say goodbye for now. And I will see you in the next one that I make. Take good care. Bye, YouTube family.